Thank you. I am Reed King. Uh, I apologize that my wife isn't here either. She's at home with our six children. Uh, we homeschool them. So while she's sending prayers my way for tonight, uh, I'd ask all of you to send prayers her way because she's at home with my six children. <laughs> We've got a problem here in Texas. We've got a problem here in our nation. We all see it. We all feel it. I've been out knocking on doors for the past several months. I've knocked on the doors of thousands of voters. And they're unanimously saying, we've got a problem. We've got a growing government. We've got a growing government in, the, in Washington. We've also got a growing government in Austin. Government has gotten too big. The balloon keeps blowing up and up and up and gets bigger and bigger. And one day it's going to pop. We've seen this around the world in our lifetimes. There was a country that growing up, way over there was the big evil empire that we outspent, we collapsed them economically because they grew too big and their bubble popped. I don't want that happening here. We can't let this happen here. I've got six kids, I've got skin in the game. It's not about me. It's not even about our opponent here. It's about what type of government we have in Austin. It's about what they're doing to you out there in the audience. How much money is coming out of your wallet? Because every dollar they spend comes out of your pocket. Now the federal government can just keep cranking the printing presses. They can do whatever they want. We may not be able to stop that. But we can stop it here in Texas. They don't have a printing press. It has to come out of your pockets. Our government into Austin grew by 24%. Now we see a lot of uh, financial numbers that say otherwise. We can do some trickery and say it's just the if you look at general revenue, then it only grew so much. Sure, you can make anything look good. But if you look at the facts of how much money we've spent, we have out of control spending in Austin as well. We've got to rein it in. Our liberties are at stake here. Our pocketbooks are at stake here. Our lives are at stake here. We can't keep sending the same people down over and over again and expect different results, expect better results. We've seen a huge influx of new legislators in Austin. Things have started to get better, at least the fighting is starting, the fighting to make it better. We've had 46 of them last time, 21 the election before. Normally you get 10 to 15, so I think we've had a pretty good couple of years. If we can get a few more good, solid conservatives down in Austin, we can remove the leadership that's down there that's been inhibiting us getting good conservative legislation through that state house. We've had a super majority. We've got a pretty darn good majority. Let's not let it slip. Let's send good solid conservatives there, get good solid conservative leadership. Let's make sure we protect the life of the unborn. Let's make sure we protect the life of those at the other end of the spectrum as well. Let's make sure we protect your pocketbooks, your children's pocketbooks, your children's very future in a free state. You know, Ronald Reagan said that America is the last stand for freedom on earth. I think we've all been looking at what's going on and we're a little worried about that. We know if it goes away, it's gone. It, it may not be coming back, at least not for a long time. I've said for a very long time that Texas is the last stand for freedom in the United States. We are the last large Republican state. If we turn blue, and they're coming like nobody's business, if we turn blue, it's game over everywhere. How many of you have friends that have said they're moving to South America? How many have friends that already have land in South America? I don't think that's the solution. We have to stand here, we have to fight here for the values that we hold dear, for the Republican form of government that we're committed to here. We have to stand 
firm in Texas so we can save the rest of the nation. Thank you. It's not about me. It's not even about her. It's about every one of you out there in the audience and what lives you're going to be living and what type of government you deserve. Thank you.